three reasons why I'm buying crypto right now, guys. No, so marami nagtatanong sa atin, nagme-message, nagdi-DM, no, and even my friends, guys, no, kasi I've been into crypto since 2016. Nagtatanong sila kung bibili pa sila ng cryptos, no, especially Bitcoin now, no. And alam naman natin, there's so many news out there regarding cryptos. And of course, I cannot uh, give you a financial advice. I'm not a professional financial advisor, no man, no. And uh, of course, no, baka sabi niyo, ako pa si niyo, hindi natin mas sabi niyo, hindi natin alam, cryptos are risky, you should know your risk, no? You should do your due diligence, this is for educational, sharing my opinion and for information purposes only, guys, no? So, I, I'm sure a lot of you are already educated in crypto, so make sure to do your own research pa rin. And, but, let me give you my three reasons, no? Kung bakit ako bibili ng crypto, guys, no? The first one, of course, very important, alam naman natin, recently, BlackRock filed, no? For an ETF of Bitcoin. So, ano ba yung ETF? Exchange Trended Fund sa tinatawag, guys. So, ibig sabihin yan, no? Uh, like mutual fund, no? We could already invest in these types of funds, no? ETF, Exchange Trended Funds, which tracks the price of Bitcoin, no? So, kumbaga, magiging somehow uh, talagang investment vehicle na rin to. Kasi, of course, alam naman natin, BlackRock is the largest, no? Or not, no? If not the largest, maybe one of the top no and largest um, uh, fund management company no sa buong mundo guys no they even you know have majority stakes no o owner of Apple etc Amazon no so talagang sobrang laki nito that's why um it, it created the buzz no na hype yung cryptos when they filed no for an ETF no kasi last year i think few years ago they are criticizing Bitcoin but right now kumbaga talaga nag-change sila ng perspective and they are now filing for an ETF guys no sana so, sa SEC na yan actually the first uh, submission binalik na ng SEC kasi inadequate daw but uh, right now binalik nila ulit ni resubmit nila with the proper kumbaga yung mga hinihingi ni SEC and it's under under review no so nag-aabang lahat ngayon if it's going to be approved but uh, according to my research naman no correct me if i'm wrong but 99% guys no ng mga applicants ni BlackRock sa SEC na approved yan. Kasi nga, institutional talaga yan eh. And sobrang laki ni BlackRock, guys. No? So, so, he owns literally the world, no? So, ganun nga yung mga news dyan. The second one, of course, na reason na sinasabi ko lagi rin is, of course, no, yung uh, tinatawag na halv- halving, no? Bitcoin halving na tinatawag. It's gonna be next year, April 2024, a few months from now. And according to history, pag malapit na yung uh, halving or pag nag na, usually, it, the price of cryptos or Bitcoin, no? talagang tumaangat na yan. No? So, historically yan. But again, we cannot guarantee anything here that's just based on price action. So, pakita ko sa inyo to. Yan guys, nakita nyo guys. No? So, from 2010, ito yung mga halving. First halving happened no? around 2020-2012. Uh, second is 2016 and we're expecting it. Ito, ito. Uh, ito yung 2020 third halving. So, talagang umaangat yung prices. Nakita nyo naman dito, ba? And Bitcoin has no stronger rallies after halving. That's why it's very important. Nakita nyo, we are in 2022 and next year nga April 2024, no? So, we're expecting the next halving na tinatawag. So, again, historically, it, it goes up no? after the halving. So, the third reason naman is yung uh, pagpapanalo no? or uh, the, the win of uh, Ripple, no, of course their case, no, from uh, SEC na tina- uh, actually tumaas nga si Ripple and other cryptos, no, nung nanalo sila, no, and of course, di pa naman tapos yung laban, uh, of course uh, marami pa rin uh, arguments sa SEC, pero this is a win, no that's one of my reasons why, you know, I keep uh, still buying, investing of course, small portion lang, no in uh, cryptos na tinatawag and again, uh, what uh, siguro ang ginagawa natin, of course, uh, proper diversification. So, kumbaga, I just put a small amount of my investment portfolio, a small percentage lang of my investment portfolio in cryptos. Of course, majority pa rin nasa real estate, business, uh, stocks, no stock market. no. But again, uh, always no check your risk assessment, no risk profile niyo sarili niyo kung okay lang ba sa inyo yung sobrang risky no na investments no like risk, uh, crypto kasi of course alam naman natin it could go it could go from 100 to 0 in you know less than second no so alam na risk yung crypto pero again the opportunity for me i believe no in my opinion is there that's why since 2016 i've been there no accumulating pa rin tayo and uh, i believe on the future of blockchain and crypto no so in general no so thank you so much guys hopefully may natutunan ka if you have questions please let me know comment down below or message me in tiktok instagram and facebook bye bye